This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video game, and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. All right, thank you very much. Welcome to Starcade. Here we are backstage. Your players are warming up for today's big match, and warm up they should because one of them today is going to have the opportunity to win their very own video arcade game. So, players, you ready? Okay, let's go play Star Arcade. Here we go. Okay, got a nice audience here. That's nice to see. Hello to you at home. And we have a couple of really good contestants. Let's meet them right now. Your name is? Martin Cole. Martin, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 16 years old, and I'm a senior at Sarah High School. After I graduate, I hope to go on to Stanford University and study medicine. Good. I hope you do, too. Didn't you just come back from Europe or something? Yeah, I, I was uh, in Europe for three weeks. What was your favorite country? Uh, probably Germany. Okay. Well, welcome to the show. And your name is? Travis Nichols. Travis, how you doing? Good. Good. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Travis Nichols from Houston, Texas. <laughs> I'm 10 years old, and I like to play football, baseball, and I like to snow ski. Okay, good. And what's your name? Travis Nichols. Okay, Travis, nice to have you here. As you know, our contestants are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games, and one of you is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game today. It is Pingo. All righty. You guys shake hands. Let's go play Starcade. And while they get ready, Kevin will tell us the five games we'll be dealing with today. Kev? Good guys, bad guys, bugs, gorillas, and gutter balls, we've got it all today on Starcade. First, it's TaxScan, a squadron of spaceships on a valiant mission. Next is Pro Bowling, a roll down the alley. In the middle of the day is Millipede, and the bugs are back. Then it's Wild Western, good guys and bad guys in a train chase. And Donkey Kong, Mario in pursuit to save his lady. Jeff? Okay, Kevin, thanks a lot. Those are today's five games. Martin and Travis, both of you had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them, as you probably know, is a mystery game. You pick it in the first three games, and you win a prize automatically. And we like our home audience to know what the mystery game is, so Kevin will whisper that to them. Today's mystery game is Tax Scan. Okay, they're all set, and if you're all set, I'll ask you a question. You ready? Yep. All right, hands on buzzers. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question, answer correctly, and you'll pick our first game today. In pole position, the sign, prepare to qualify, is pulled across the screen by what? A, an airplane, B, a Martin. B, a blimp. B, a blimp. Right you are. Okay. So, Martin, you get to pick our first game. It gives you a slight advantage here. Which one would you like to play? I think I'll take uh, pro bowling. Pro bowling. That's an interesting game. I don't think we've played it yet here on Starcade. So we'll ask Kevin to tell us about pro bowling. We've moved a bowling alley right in here for this game. It's pro bowling, and you're in control of the ball, checking the tracking screen to see where the ball is going, then maneuvering the ball by sending it straight down the alley or curving it to one side or the other. Watch the timing meter on the side. It fluctuates up and down all the time, and if you throw when it's high, your throw will be stronger, and there's more likelihood of success. So, Martin, get on your Starcade bowling shirt and get ready to strike out on pro bowling. We uh, were happy to announce that Kevin is one of the few people here who got three strikes in a row. Unfortunately, he was playing baseball at the time. <laughs> okay, Kev. Now, uh, you picked pro bowling. Why? Well, I thought it would uh, start the game out with a low-scoring game. Uh-huh, and save the high-scoring games till later, huh? Yeah. All right, let me give you a little bit of advice about this, and you might want to listen to uh, Travis. Uh, if you move your joystick left and right, you move your bowler left and right. Move your joystick up and down, you curve the uh, line of the ball, right or left, and watch your speed meter. It's on the far left side of the screen. When it's where you want it, you press bowl, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. You have 50 seconds. Get ready, get set, play. <laughs> Okay, he's going to bowl straight. See if you can pick those up. Speed meter's up at the top, good. All right. Looks good. Oh, yes, you got a strike, good for you. 20 seconds. Set those pins up. 
Here we go. That one's going to be tough. Got about 10 seconds to pick up some points here. Looks like you're going to sit with 470 there. Yeah, it's not quite enough time. 470 points. Okay, congratulations to you, Martin. Head on back. Come on, Travis. Uh, he did pretty good, 470 points. Got himself a strike along the way. How are you at pro bowling? I'm not very good. <laughs> well, you remember what I told him. Uh, on the left is a speed meter. When it's up to the top, the ball will go faster. You press your ball button at that time. Joystick left to the right moves the ball left to right, up and down. It will curve the ball. And you'll see the line. It'll make it curve. So you might want to use that. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. Get ready? You have 50 seconds. Get set. Bowl. <laughs> Okay, one ball at slow speed, off to the side. Remember your speed meter's off to the left here. Okay, 40 seconds, here you go. That's it. Oh, left one, too bad. Maybe you can pick those two up. 20 seconds. Good shot. You need a strike here. Travis, need a strike. Ten seconds to go. See if you can pick one up. Let's see. That'd be good. No, it's off to the side. It's off. Go. Not enough time. Okay, you sit with 300. Come over here there, Travis. 300 is what you need. Maybe you should have hit the curve a little bit. Well, that's the way it goes. We'll be right back in a few seconds to see who gets to choose the next game here on Starcade. Stay with us. Today's grand prize on Starcade is the video arcade game Pango. The penguin is on a run through an ice block field with snow bees in fast pursuit. It's a bit chilly, but Pango the Penguin's World is an interesting place to be. Pango furnished by Sega Electronics. And now back to Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Both Martin and Travis are going to have a chance at old Pango here. Let's check the score and see where we are after one game. Martin, you have 470 points. And Travis, you have... 300 points. Oh, very, very close. Very, very close. One more game to be played in this round, and then we'll total the points scored on both games, and that will determine who gets to play the Name the Game board. So if you guys are ready, I have another question for you. Hands on buzzers. You all set, Travis? Okay, here we go. In Crystal Castles, what's the name of the player? A, Honey Bear. Yes, Martin. Bentley Bear. Bentley Bear. Yeah, you sure know your games. And that means, once again, you get to pick the game we're going to play. Okay, this time, uh, let's try Wild Western. Wild Western. Okay, that is a wild, wild uh, game, and we'll ask our Indian giver about that. <laughs> it's the good guy against the bad guys in a race with the train carrying the loot. And you're the good guy, of course. It's your job to protect the train, gallop into the battle, use the train for protection, jump on top if the bandit does, but whatever, protect the loot. It's Wild Western. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Well, you pick Wild Western, and I usually give hints about games, but I'm so bad at this one. Are, are you pretty good, Ed? Well, I'm probably as good as you are on it. I'm not quite that good. <laughs> well, anybody's as good as I am on it. <laughs> Don't let the bandits get on the train. If they do, you put, get the sheriff on the train. If you get to the water tower, press your button, and the sheriff will lie down. And uh, other than that, all I can say is good luck. Okay, thanks. Okay, here we go, Martin. You have 50 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> There's the bandits. There's the sheriff coming up. Oh, you got one. Good. Gotta get him. Oh, dismissed. Hey, you got the left one. You got two. Plenty of time. Look out! 
They got you. Have a couple more sheriffs left. Ten seconds. Go. Oh. Oh, looks like they got all your sheriffs. You only get three of them, but you got 400 points. Okay, Martin, congratulations. You head on back. Come on, Travis. Now, he picked Wild Western. Uh, he's picked both games so far. How do you feel about Wild Western? Um, I'm probably as good as you, too. <laughs> that makes all of us not too good on this yeah. game. Well, they got 400 points. There's a chance for you to score some points here. We wish you good luck. Okay, here we go. Travis, you ready? Get set. Play. Here's the train. Here's the bandits. Here comes the sheriff. Got one. Good for you. You got a bonus point, that's why, that's so good. Here you go. Coming back. Seconds. Keep shooting. Take a couple more if you can. Well, Travis, it turns out you're pretty good at it. You got bonus points. You have 1,500, and that's great. You head on back. I think the lead has changed hands. Both of you, of course, had a chance to play pro bowling and Wild Western, and now one of you is going to play for a special prize, and that's the name of the game board. So let's total up all the scores, and we find out that, Martin, you have 870. <laughs> Travis, you have 1,800. You beat Martin at his own game. Come on down here, Travis. Good for you. Now it's time to play the Name the Game board. Behind you, we have four video screens. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you're going to win a nice prize. How are you at the video games? I'm pretty good. Okay, we'll find out. Turn around. In the upper left-hand corner, is that Fantasy or Pioneer Balloon? Fantasy. Fantasy is right. Number two, Pole Position or Turbo? Turbo. Turbo is right. Good for you. Number three, Super Pac-Man or Pac-Man Plus? Super Pac-Man. Yes. Number four, is this Spirals or Kicks? Kicks. You're right. Good for you. Congratulations. That's four out of five. Because the fifth one is, how do you spell the name of the person who's going to give you the prize? Jim? Right. Jim, what's the prize? Uh, thanks, uh, Steve, uh, oh, Travis, right, it's ColecoVision, the home video arcade system with effects just like in the arcade. Your vision is our vision, ColecoVision from Coleco. Okay, Kevin, thanks a lot. You hang on right here, Travis, in a minute we'll be back to play the final round of Star Arcade and see who has a chance to win their own video arcade game. Here's the latest news from the Starcade Hotline. Some of the Starcade crew have racked up some big points on video arcade games, between tapings, of course. Here's a few of our high scores. Cameraman Charlie, Game Wrangler Don, Contestant Coordinator Marie, Game Medic Jim, Director Phil, Maintenance Gordon, Lighting Director Phil, Technical Director Steve, Host Jeff Edwards, and of course, mine. And uh, Jeff, I'm looking to top your top score on Sinistar. <laughs> I've been, been much too busy with more important things, Kevin. Okay, guys, this is it. One game left to play, 40 seconds to play it. After that, we're going to total up all the scores, and the top score on all games is going to get a chance to win Pingo. So if you're ready, I have the last question for you. Martin and Travis, hands on buzzers. Here we go. In Guzzler... How many fireballs must be extinguished on the... F Four. Martin. Four is right. You, I never even get a chance to give you the choices. Holy mackerel, you sure know your games. Now there's three games left up there, uh, Martin. One of them is the mystery game. That hasn't been picked yet. So we have Donkey Kong, Millipede, and Tax Scan. What's it going to be? Oh, let's go for the middle one, Millipede. Millipede. Okay, that was not the mystery game. The mystery game was Tax Scan, but Millipede is an interesting game, and Kevin will tell us how to play it. 
You are a mighty millipede, flanked by a marauding band of oversized insect rogues, and they are advancing on you steadily. You must stop them with your bow and arrow as they move closer and closer through the mushroom forest. Score points with direct hits to the millipede, or any of his insect buddies, or take out a group at a time with DDT bombs. Truth and goodness are on your side, and you will be victorious over the millipede. Okay, uh, Kevin? Uh, Kevin? Oh, darn. Looks like the early bird got him. Well, all right. Millipede it is. Why did you pick Millipede? Well, this is probably the best game that you're offering here today, so I picked this one. Okay, and you need some points, too. You're a little bit behind here, so you need some points to get back in the lead if you can. Only advice I can give you is go for the DDT bomb if you can get it. That'll give you some extra points and a little bit of an advantage, okay? Okay. All right, you have 40 seconds for this game, Martin. You ready? Yeah. Get set. Go. <laughs> Of course. Oh, you can play this game. There's the DDT. Good shooting. All right. All right. Good play. 20 seconds. That's okay. Plenty of time. 13 seconds. Some more points here. Got it. Thirteen thousand two hundred and forty-seven. Now, well, you really know how to play that game. Congratulations to you. Thanks. You're welcome. Head on back, Travis. I think old Martin uh, put the pressure on you there. Yeah. Now he picked. He's picked each game so far. This time he picked Millipede. Uh, how do you feel about Millipede? All right. I'm pretty good too. All right. Well, I think you're going to have to be to hold your lead. Let's see how well you do. You have forty seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> Good shooting. Got it. Got a DDT bomb. Good for you. Look out. Good. All right. 20 seconds to go. Ready to fire. Oh, good shot. Ten thousand twenty. Okay, head on back, Travis. Martin beat Travis at Millipede, but whether it was enough to win the entire game, I don't know. But we will find out. Both of you are very good players, and the lead's going back and forth. And now it's the final score, and we'll find out who's going to have a shot at their very own Pango game. So if you guys are set, we'll tally up the scores. You ready? Okay, Martin, you have a total of fourteen thousand one hundred and seventeen. Right. Travis, you have. 11,820. Right. Martin, you did it. Congratulations to you. Travis, you're a good player. You had the lead at one time. You got the name, the game, the board pri prizes, and congratulations to you. Did you have a good time? Yeah. I'm glad you did. Nice to have met you. And Martin, you're our champ for the day. Congratulations to you. And Kevin has a prize for you for being the number one player today. Kev? First, it's Konica's new Disc 15, the world's first autofocus disc camera. Get sharp pictures from 14 inches to infinity automatically. The only disc camera on earth with autofocus, Disc 15 by Konica. And Spectra Video SV318, the personal computer you grow into and not out of. Featuring built-in CPM compatibility, 32K of ROM, 32K of RAM, 10 user-definable functions, and a built-in joystick from Spectra Video. How do you feel about those prizes? Great. I, I really wanted a computer. And... Great, Martin. Anything else you want? <laughs> well, I'm going to try and get the Pingo game. Okay, we'll see if we can do it right after this. Oh. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Command, the joystick making America trigger happy, Comfort Pistol Grip, and Trigger Action, the thumbless approach to higher scores, the Trigger Command joystick from Electra Concepts, and from UMI, Word Feud, the competitive word search game that involves the whole family. It's irresistible fun for everyone. UMI software for family home entertainment, Word Feud from UMI. 
Welcome back to Starcade. Okay, now you can have a shot at your own video arcade game, Martin. During the commercial break, we informed you that if you picked Donkey Kong, you'd have to score at least 1,125 points. If you picked Tax Scan, you'd have to score at least 11,670 points. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players that play these same games. I understand you reached your decision and you picked... Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Okay, Donkey Kong it is. That means if you score 1,125 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win our grand prize. That's Pengo. So while Kevin tells us about Donkey Kong, we'll get ready to go over and play. You're Jumpman, and your goal is to rescue the lady from Donkey Kong. Reach the top and score points by jumping over the barrels hurled down on you by Donkey Kong. Make extra points by jumping up to get the hammer, and then use it to smash the barrels and the fireballs on that level. Move on up the ladder, jumping barrels and avoiding fireballs to reach the second hammer. Reach the top, and Donkey Kong grabs the lady and moves up, and you begin again. All right, now, Martin, whether you want to try to get all the way to the top, I don't know. You only have 30 seconds. You need 1,125 points. I can tell you how to do this. Do you want me to do that? Sure. Okay, it's going to cost you. <laughs> you win Pango. I get to play it a lot, okay? Sure. All right, let me tell you how to do this, and, and then take my advice or not take my advice. It's really, in the end, it's up to you. Grab a hammer, the first hammer you get to. Hit the fireball, that's 800 points. Hit the next barrel, that's 300 points. And then you just jump over the next barrel and, and you can go home with Pingo. Okay? Okay. Okay, good luck Thank to you. You. you have 30 seconds. You ready? Get set. Play. Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production.